So we've got a miniature post bag today. There's only four bits here, but I think some of them might be interesting. I think, I don't know. Well, let's get some of them open, shall we? Let's start with this one here. Oh, well, the post-it notes come off, brilliant. Ooh, hello. Let's have a little look at these. That's weird. I thought these were a 16 pin package. I thought these were the, I thought I'd ordered the LM3916 and I was, I'll tell you why. I was gonna make a like a VU meter into a badge. So I had experimented making a badge that detected your heart rate. Um, oh, that's what these are. Okay, so these are the LM358. This is an operational amplifier. I'm gonna be using this on an electric microphone. That's what it's for. So yeah, I bought, um, I bought these because I've got some electric microphones and I need to amplify the signal. So we're gonna be using these, should be fun. Okay, next up. So next up, we've got this one from msgraphics.co.uk. Oh, I don't need to use the knife. Whatever it is, it fits inside this bit of paper. Aha! So these are some little square LEDs. I had some yellow ones. There we go. I've got some yellow ones of these too. Now, someone said that the blue ones are brighter and should still work with my forward voltage drop. So this is for the dice, wherever that, ah, here it is. This is for that dice. So they get uh, soldered onto the back here with the bit pointing in. And someone said blue would look pretty cool. So I picked some up uh, at a cost of, da, 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 da. I think there are 25 there. at a cost of £1.89. I know I could have got hundreds from China for that much money, but I wanted to get them quickly and I don't mind buying stuff from eBay UK. It's not a lot of money, is it? So they should be fun. Should we test it out? Why not? Right, let's throw it in the breadboard and see what it looks like. How am I gonna power this? I'll just, uh, I'll just nick the power supply out of my clock. Whoa, that is bright, isn't it? So this is a 470 ohm resistor here. That is much brighter. You can see the, uh, the brightness of both of these now. Let's get a blank PCB and Hold it over the top and see what the difference is. It is certainly, I don't know if it's brighter or just more obvious. Is that central? Yeah, about there. Let's see if we can change it to a constant on. There we go. So it is brighter. Should we just dim the lights in here a little? Yeah, actually I like the blue. I mean, I also like um, this one over here, but interesting. Right, so next up we've got a big box. Seems like a bit of a waste for whatever's inside, but let's get in and find out. Is this a peel thing? No, let's just go at it with the knife. is this? Oh, right, there we are. <laughs> it has an opening sign on that bit. That whole box for just a couple of chips. What are the, ah, oh, these must be the LM3916s. Ah. Oh, I can't get them out. 
Why not? There we go, the LM391, LM3916. So these are gonna be little LED drivers. They're gonna work in my VU meter badge that I'm gonna create. So you'll be able to see the LEDs go up in a circle like a accelerometer, not accelerometer, what are those things called? Like a dial in a car. So you can see the speed go up like a RPM counter, but it's gonna be the sound coming to an electric microphone. So I'm gonna use these and they're perfect for the job. They like, they're good at driving bar graph displays, but I'm gonna be doing it. Um, I might chain the two together so we can get uh, 20, I think, LEDs in a round. So we'll see, but should be a fun one to play with. And wow, this one doesn't even fit in shot. <laughs> Lastly, we've got this thing. Um, and it does say ABS thermal printer here. So I guess that gives us a clue. But let's get inside. There we go. So it is an ABS thermal printer. Um, this was on my Amazon wish list. So thank you very much to, for whoever pick this up, please shout out in the comments if it was you or send me a tweet or a direct message or something. Um, I'd like to say thank you in person, not in person, but directly. So let's have a look. So I put the white one on my Amazon wish list because it was cheaper than the black one. Oh dear, it sounds like things might have got bashed around a little bit. Is that how you open up that? Oh no, it's just a roll of thermal paper in there. And <laughs> this is awesome, look at that. Hang on a minute, let's zoom in on this bit. So this is a character code table. So these are all the characters it can print out, I guess. I would have thought I'd be able to send it some graphics, but maybe not. So degree 34, smoothly print, voltage 6.8. Oh, that's interesting. So can it actually print out information about itself? So that's font B. So you've got larger and smaller fonts. Fascinating. So what do we have on the bottom here? So, God, this is really dented. We might have to, in fact, can we take it out now? Yeah, I've got a little screwdriver here. Let's take this apart. Just have a wee look inside and see if anything's been damaged. No, it doesn't look like it. Gosh, that's simple, isn't it? So we've got our board here to control it and a single button at the top coming down here with three wires. So you've got power and ground and, no, I should have, I have no idea why it's got three wires. Oh, the LED, that makes sense. Um, so this is our driver stuff. I wonder what those three pins are there. Interesting, so the big IC on there is LPC114F. So if anyone wants to look that up, there's also a hidden button under here <laughs> that you cannot access. So maybe that's uh, a parallel one. So maybe it's exactly the same as this button here that's at the bottom. That's interesting though. And you've got jumper one. Wow, well, well. So there's our, uh, the bit that makes contact with the the paper, so thermal paper, this stuff here, um, it reacts to heat. So if I warm it up with a bit of uh, aggressive rubbing, you can see that it goes dark. So that's how thermal paper works. Um, it gets darker with heat. I don't have anything at the moment in front of me that I can use to demonstrate that, but uh, essentially it's got a heater here and it runs along the, the paper like a print head. That is very cool. What kind of um, 
voltage are we talking? Does it say? So you've got TX, RX, DTR, don't know what DTR stands for, and VH. I don't know what VH is. I'm assuming that must be voltage in. Let's have a little look at the pinout on here. So those three middle ones are data type lines. DTR, data transfer ready or something. It must be like, a, God, what are those other, what's the, like the handshaking stuff? Something like that. I don't know, I'll look it up obviously when, um, when I play around with it. But um, yeah, I think we've probably got power and ground on the outside, I imagine. So ground, power in there. Um, this suggests 6.8 volts, so maybe maybe that's what it needs to be powered with. I'll try five to start with, obviously. But yeah, that is exciting. Some cool projects coming for that, I'm sure. So thank you very much to whoever picked this up. I'll put a link in the description to pretty much everything I can find. Um, but that is the end of the old post bag. Is that everything? I thought there was another one. So we had one, two, three, four. I forgot about those. So yeah, this has been, I'm excited. It's gonna be cool. So these, these represent one project. This is gonna represent a new project because I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it yet. But um, I've got a couple of ideas. It's gonna be one of those IoT type things, you know, internet of things kind of deal. Maybe you guys can um, send me messages and I'll wake up in the morning and have a, a little roll of messages that I can read. I don't know. Anyway, all right, I'll speak to you all soon.